Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I figured that I would do a palette bingo with my Morphe 35B palette. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because this is, I bought this in December for myself. I had uh, Ulta Points and I had just kind of really been drawn to these green colors. And I pulled this in my May Shop My Stash for the first time ever. So this is my, one of the first times that I'm using this. I've swatched a couple colors and I've played with a couple colors since I've uh, pulled it into my Shop My Stash. But I thought that since this palette is so spanking new to me that it would be a really good idea to do a palette bingo. So, um, palette bingos, let's go. Um, I have a random number generator. Generate. I'm gonna generate five numbers from uh, one to 35 because there are 35 uh, shadows in here, hence the 35M palette. And then we'll see if I can create a look. Now this palette has a lot going on here, so I'm a little nervous, but I think that it could be fun. So let's go ahead and generate numbers. So the first number I have is number five. And that would be this one here, this deep olive green color. And so let's see. Um, I'm not, I don't have the best swatching like hands and so yeah, here we go. So that's what we're working with there. That's the first color. I'm excited because I really do wanna play with these greens a lot. Uh, well, let's do another one. 32. Okay, so if this is 35, 34, 33, 32. Okay, so this purple, very pretty. Let's do this one. So we got this purple here. Okay. The next number is 26. Number 26 would be this color here. And this is a very interesting, like, it looks in the pan like it's almost an orange, but maybe like a little pink to it. No, mostly like a terracotta-y brown kind of color, I think. Not very good at describing those, am I? <laughs> All right, let's continue. Uh, 35, which would be, oh, the black, could the very last shade in here. Oh, it's actually very creamy, so that's interesting. It's very silky feeling. Um, okay, let's see. I don't know how it's gonna swatch yet. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Okay, and one more. Here we go, last one. 17. And number 17 is this shade here, and it almost looks like it's going to be like a ready brown. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to think for a minute, and I'll come back. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is take this color here, and it's this shade here. And I'm going to work that. I'm try to maybe sheer it out a little bit and use it in my crease. Maybe hopefully not pack it on so um, intensely. And then maybe I'm going to go on the outer corner with the black and uh, this shade here on my most of my lid. And then I'm going to save the inner corner for the purple color here. And then I think to smoke that all out, I'll try the green underneath my lash line. So I'm just going to speed through all of this and we'll see how it turns out.
anyway, this is the finished look and uh, all in all, I mean, I haven't done many of these before. I think maybe once or twice on my channel. Maybe once, maybe twice, twice. And so, or no, once. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> and so this color selection, when I initially uh, sw swatched it out and was thinking and planning it, I was pretty intimidated by it, but I don't hate how the look came out. Um, I definitely would, if normally, put my makeup or put my foundation on after I've done my eyes. I think that maybe would help clean it up a little bit, but I didn't. Um, I'm going to watch, sit on the couch all day and watch Game of Thrones with my husband, so no lashes or anything like that, but I always think that lashes are like just the item that can pull a look completely together, and I think that that would help a lot, but I'm not gonna do that today. But uh, I really like it. I do think that I probably could have used that green very like a little bit more high up on my crease up here, like just peeking out under that uh, little clay looking shade, but I didn't. Um, let me know in the comments, what would you have done differently? Uh, how would you have structured a look with these shadows? And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.